and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Shen. We're playing some Shen Barrier. I know we just played this deck uh, just two days ago, um, but that was, bef you know, we started it before we knew that Shen was getting a buff to be at three power now instead of two. So let's run it back. Let's play some more Shen. Let's try it again with uh, new and updated uh, Shen. We're going to be playing the same list. I, I still think I want to go Grizzled Ranger, even though Grizzled Ranger is 3-1 three, three, into 3-4. I still think that's probably our best option. Other option is playing Vanguard Bannerman in that slot. Um, I do have eight Ionia cards, uh, so Bannerman would miss, you know, a decent amount. Like, that's almost a fourth of the deck. Especially, like, if you're playing Bannerman, you can think it's, like, 8 out of 40 for your chance. But it's really 8 out of 39, right? Because you know that one card that you're not going to... That wouldn't be a random card on top would be Bannerman. So, like, just whenever you're doing Bannerman math, just remember that um, you're if you're thinking about how Bannerman is, that means that you're playing one Bannerman, so there's only 39 other cards in the deck. But anyway, you know, like, we could take out Spirit's Refuge, but I really like Spirit's Refuge. It, it was really good for us last time. I want to keep them in. I don't want to cut any of these eight Ionia cards. So I'm going to just stick with Grizzled Ranger for now, but we'll see how it performs. And plus, it's good to kind of check to see how the new Grizzled Ranger performs. But anyway, yeah, we're going the same list that we played on Monday. Let's play it again. We're going to go play it over in Ranked, and we're going to go play five uh, games. That's true. I could try uh, Chevalier. Is it Laurent Chevalier? That now it's a 3-2? We could. It's very similar to, like, Jaw Hunters, kind of. You know, it's like a challenger that creates another challenger. It's kind of like a Jaw Hunters. That's true. Could play Laurent Chevalier. We'll stick with Grizzled Ranger for now, but if... If it underperforms, that, that could be a good card to to try as well. Um, you know, so like you have a 3-1 for Grizzled Ranger, 3-1 Scout, Chevalier is a 3-2 uh, Challenger. Um, they both have the, like one has a Strike Trigger, one has a Die Trigger. Can get you some more value. trying good old Shin. So far, so good. Had a lot of success with Hecarim and with Vladimir. And now let's try new Shen. Those are the three champions that were buffed with the update. And then we have another Hecarim deck that we're going to be playing later on, putting Unyielding Spirit with Hecarim. Uh, that's another donation deck. And then I'm uh, going to play some Twisted Fate Ezreal. Bilgewater. It's a region that didn't see anything happen to it. All right, let's just cancel. What, what's going on here? Restart. Hmm. Y'all have any problems getting game suddenly? I don't know what's going on. Let's just re-enter. Nautilus. That art's so awesome. Rune Terra. Yeah, your connection's been okay. Yeah, we haven't had any. Tr we haven't had any trouble so far. You know, like we played ten games, we hadn't had any troubles, but they're just suddenly. I don't know. It wasn't pairing us. Let's just try exiting and, you know, if something doesn't work, the best thing to do is usually to turn it off and turn it back on. There we go. What's my least favorite deck to play against? Question. Hmm. I usually probably, like... Maybe like Karma Ezreal, or like, I hate, like, I don't really like uh, 
Ezreal as a card, like where it's just, um, you know, kill all your stuff and then uh, boom, uh, combo win con that you can't deal with just finishes the game really fast. I don't really like that. So I guess I'd probably say Karma Ezreal. Guess we keep all these. It's this is kind of an awkward hand. We we need some help filling in our slots. I am one with the land. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Jagged butcher. Good one drop. All right, well, we'll just keep you in hand for a while, Bright Steel Formation. We don't want to uh, show you to our opponent too early. We'll just kind of keep you in hand, sit back, stay alive, let you do stuff later on. Sound good? All right, sound good. Feel the shit fight on an empty stomach. Feel the sizzle. No prey, no pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take all my cards. Didn't know the boss had said for you. Don't know much, do ya? Head to the face. Hmm. Man, now I want to play Fiora first. With blades. Fiora kill. If we can. <laughs> oh, spirits refuge on my powder on the powder keg. But that's why I went with um so I went single combat because we could play another one where if I went with repost if they just had another damage source I couldn't have any other kind of protection enforced equilibrium feel the sizzle Hungry. Best run while you can. You poor thing. No. Yeah, ephemeral mid range was definitely competitive. Yeah, it was pretty solid. <laughs> Two down. Yeah, it's not really easy to go four one in in, uh, in ranked and and it did. It had it had to like some really good top end with uh, Hecarim, Rekindler, Harrowing, Dawn and Dusk. Very powerful top end. Time to get rowdy. When 
don't know what that doorbell ring was all about. Oh, pest control. People are here. Um, I don't know if they, do they need something from me. Did we win? I think we won. I had to pick up Puck, because otherwise she'll go running out. Yeah, they're, they're basically just telling me they were here and, you know, doing, like, the whole spraying on the outside and stuff, like pest control people do for their quarterly update. Um, no. Yeah, no, that... No, I, Elixir of Iron was never being buffed, Ultimate. Wherever you heard that the Elixir of Iron was being buffed was incorrect. Oh, really, Penguin? You said you, said you heard that too? I, I didn't see that whatsoever. If Elixir of Iron gets buffed to, to three, I mean, that, that card's already one of the very best cards. <laughs> yeah, the walk-off win. <laughs> that was a walk-off win. All right, we'll get rid of Grizzled Ranger. Keep the 2-3-4. It's not the best card to have. Like, this is not the best, like, two-drop. You know, we want, like, War Chefs. Maybe I just don't even play anything on turn two and just keep the single combat available. And just have Fiora into Shen and have single combat. That's probably the better thing to do, honestly. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Strike quick. Oh god. Destruction feeds my fire. <laughs> hmm. They'll never feel the cold. I have no time for fools. I think let's just. We actually just trade. It would be like a huge pain to try to keep this alive through the Ember Maiden trigger anyway. The eye of twilight sees all. Uh, that's the card. I was hoping they didn't have that in their deck that play that. Because of Sejuani. Defend our brethren. Break their spirits and their swords. Smell that bark, fear. Blech. Enforced equilibrium. Pause there, fair. Fine and wisp. Stay. 
Steady my hand. I basically I'm doing this because I don't want Omen Hawk to be able to trade with Caretaker. If they want to trade Wolf Rider for Caretaker, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Place is still in the mortal world. I could have, you know, given the caretaker the barrier. <laughs> and with the backup protege, maybe I should have. But the thing is, the caretaker had one toughness. We're playing against a make it rain deck. Sorry, the puppies are broken because it's working right outside. Who does not know the name Laurent? What's theirs is ours. Corruption. Oh, so this okay, so this doesn't give the plus three plus zero on that on that barrier. It has to be you have to have the leveled up Shen and then give barrier afterwards for that bonus. So that probably means they have another Sejuani. I guess it could be a Gangplank. Torch it, all of it. Leave only ashes and dust. Hmm. What do I think about the Swain Dragon Rage combo? Uh, very slow and expensive, but also very powerful when it would work. Okay, we're gonna do. Who do I want to pump up with this repost? We're gonna go repost fight, kill Sejuani. on something that we can sacrifice in case something happens, something bad happens. Or if they, I don't know why they'd have like a bounce spell, but if this got bounced somehow, the play replaying, Bright Seal Protector wouldn't be bad. Hmm. Okay, well. 
Man, I, I knew they had either, like something like that in hand. I, I guess I should have played around Fury of the North. By my honor, you must die. Dang. <laughs> Barking so loud. Sorry. So, my only way to stay alive is to block here. That's nine. I have to block everything else. We have to just chump block across. We have to kill that thing. These two blocks don't matter. This will keep me at one, and then I don't die to the Ember Maiden. If they didn't attack with the Ember Maiden, I just lost. I mean, I'm still lost. But... Yeah, I, I just, I had to play around Fury of the North, and I didn't, and I, I could have. I could have put that on something else and fought. Yeah. I need to play around the Fury of the North. Bleh. If I would have just done that on, like, Scythria... I think we would have won that. Like, I, I think I just lost that game. All right. That's how it goes, though. Let's go to the next game. I do you like having one? Let's just get rid of this protector. I do like having a single combat. Harvey, will you please stop? So loud. I long for a worthy opponent. Okay. Um This isn't isn't a very good attack. Basically, what the reason why I pass is because it's not that good of an attack, and I don't want to like make that attack, and then afterwards they play, I don't know, like a jump. I don't know, they play whatever afterwards and. Post combat, I kind of liked them not using their mana. The balance requires a watchful eye. All right, well the the machine's turned off now, so that's better for the the puppers. Devour. Um. Well, I have to do this. I guess I do that. I could do like Shen deal damage to that. And keep the Swiftwing Lancer alive, and then have Fiora fight that. So I go. I think this is the best play, though. Devourer is rude. Based on toughness, not power, so repose doesn't help. They have another one. On 
path to get here. Gross. Hmm. Interesting. Show them what we're made of. Of course, was planning on playing Fiora. But double Scythria is awesome, because then these things don't get to block at all. <laughs> yeah, we did get the worst elite. That is true. That card's probably not going to do anything. We can keep both these Scythrias around and not let these things like block ever. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. they are just taking it. Well, planning on being deep before like the next time attacking, I guess. Yeah, maybe they have double jettison. Me? We best friends now. Ah! It's certainly possible they have double jettison. So I have eight mana, three, four, five, six, seven. I save three. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. I hope not. I hope they don't have double jettison. They don't. They're looking like they're dead. Can't stop that. Maybe there's. Do they just need single jettison? Okay, I guess they just need single jettison. Feed Demacia. You're covered. That thing can block. Nothing else can block right now. If we play Jettison, then Nautilus can block. The water rises. So how are they keeping me from doing nine damage still? What's their plan? How do like I don't even think I can't even think of anything that keeps me from from like keeps them staying alive right now. Yeah, it's true. I could have single combat while they're tapped out, but also just didn't seem necessary. Yeah, I guess a double Riptide. Yeah, because they had 8 mana. Yeah, I guess that's something that could have kept them alive is double Riptide. Because even, yeah, because then Riposte doesn't, I can't kill them with, with Riposte even through that. Um, I don't know, I don't... No, I wouldn't necessarily say the deep matchup is good for us. That's, that's one that's probably worse than other matchups. I think we got pretty lucky with the two Scythrias to make none of their stuff be able to block and kill them super fast. But no, it looks like we're playing against it again. I don't think this is necessarily that great of a matchup. Four chefs? 
I need to feel the sizzle. I think my opponent's deck's favorite in this matchup. Fresh is worth at least twice as Triple combat. Yeah, deep is yeah. The deep decks are are good. They're difficult to beat. So yeah, they they have a lot of good anti aggro stuff, and then yeah, they still have a great late game. Set the hooks. So glad they attacked. They shouldn't have attacked here. So glad they did though. the space between worlds. So you may think that I'm going to be challenging the Jaw Hunters, but I'm not. I'm going to be challenging the Spiderling. I don't want to challenge the Jaw Hunters, and then they have removal that kills my barrier and then the jaw hunters killed i don't know we, we do have single combat i guess maybe i still can we have like grass the undying it's gonna die but it would die right now to grass the undying anyway so okay yeah i guess i guess we can never mind um i think the best thing against deep decks are probably it's probably like karma ezreal Like basically like Ezreal combo kill like you know it's really tough for deep decks to stop that I think but I, I don't know their units are still really big you still have Maokai that can just you know eliminate the deck or obliterate the deck um, the, all the life gain does help help against Ezreal Yeah, the deep decks were definitely good before, and now they seem to get they seem to get better. If only Fiora could see me now. She can. She's not impressed. So I could use her post. But again, they have a lot of mana available. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play this and have single combat and try to take that out with single combat. Then I have a backup. This will be quick. This could work as well. Cool. Enforced equilibrium. I will cut you down. Could play Lancer first. Are they going to go devour the depths? I don't think they have. Nah, I don't even need to keep Pro J alive. I'll just do this. I don't know if they'll have Ruination. That would be killer if I play Swiftwing Lancer, then they Ruination. Timo hard counters the deep deck. It's not exactly like that. You put puff caps on their stuff and then they, they toss those cards that you put the puff caps on. I've had that happen to me and then they just like don't have puff caps left.
There's Devourer. See, maybe it'll be a mistake actually killing that spiderling. Maybe I won't have that spiderling to challenge. I need one more barrier to level up Shen. Fior does need another four kills to level up, even though it, or like, uh, to win the game, even though it's leveled up. Still needs another four kills. By my honor, you must die. I've had plenty of opportunities to play Ruination if that's what they were going to be doing. Don't expect that. I'm looking at like doing 17 damage to them. They're at 18. If I had two more mana, we could kill them. Or if they had one less life. So we'd Vile Feast gaining a life. Oh, never mind. This isn't. No, it'd actually be three less anyway, because this isn't leveled up, so. But yeah, it'd be less anyway. Alright, so that thing's not getting. So might as well just attack like this. It's not getting the plus three from Shen yet. Uh, not really, Vittenhood. Probably not. Gonna be, it's gonna be a close game. Let's see what they got. They are deep. Play a bunch of sea monsters, especially if they have a Nautilus, which they do. Blood and salt. That's bad. It's very bad. I didn't have to use that. Come on. 
two mana 7-7 seven, seven that also obliterates your thing. Ugh. Yep. Looks like the game's over. Or that was just one mana. Great, even better. Just one mana. Thing is, I can't, you know, I just can't get any damage across right now. Show them what we're made of. Well. Close game. We almost had him. If they just didn't have Nautilus, we would have won the game, but Nautilus wins it for my opponent. That was Nautilus was basically the only card, besides Ruination. You know, Nautilus and Ruination were like the only cards that they could have. Um but yeah. Nothing stands in our way. Block, GG. All right, we are two and two. Really should be three and one. I messed that first game that we lost up. It's kind of a little flustered with everything going on, with like the dogs barking a bunch and the person here. It's my excuse, at least. That one was very, very close. We had the Fiora to three. Yeah. Yeah, Nautilus. Really good. Obviously, the one mana Devourer of Depths. Um, I mean, I guess even with the Nautilus. <laughs> I don't know if, if y'all can see. Uh, no, I can't quite see Harvey. <laughs> She's rolling around and everything back there. Well, she was. Just having a good time. Um, best thing of the new patch. I like how much better. Um, Freljord and Noxus are playing those kind of those kind of decks. I definitely enjoy those. So like your Vladimir, your Swain, your Sejuani. I think those those decks are definitely all better with this patch. Not getting run over as much by burn. Joker likes jokes. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. These woods protect their own. You're covered. Time to get rowdy. Seriously, still attacking? All right. Yours. 
So I, I think it's okay to let the Badger Bear eat one of these. I think that's okay. Was planning on killing the Senna. Nature blesses her followers. Um, I'm not sure. I've, I just haven't really played the matchup that much, but uh, if, so to know really if Ezreal Karma is fast enough to beat Deep, I I don't know. Let us settle this with great sensibility. I think there's a, a lot of good things in. Um, and Ezreal Karma and a lot of cards that are uh, poor for that matchup for um, for the deep deck. You know, like they have a lot of cards that aren't very good in that matchup. How you doing? It's, it's definitely be a close matchup. It's not going to be a ma it wouldn't be a matchup that would be um, like. Nature blesses her followers. Uh, Yeah, that would be a blowout either way. It'd be close. Glad they didn't have Might. I think I was dead if they had Might. I think. Show them what we're made of. GG. All right, so we went three and two. Another successful showing for Shen Barrier. And, uh, and you know, it really should have been a 4-1. I, I remember I messed up the first game. Um, uh, could have been, could have definitely been a 4-1. Um, but yeah, so I, like, this deck's good. Like, Shen's pretty good, as we saw, like, with these games. Like, Shen's really big now, and, like, Getting a 3-5, like it's an actual threat that's like attacking and do doing that damage. I think this is probably the best version of a Shen deck, in my opinion. This is what I would recommend um, as far as Shen decks go. I do really like Green Glade Caretaker as a one-drop. Cythria is, of course, amazing. Um, but there we go. You know, like, if I would have played that first game better, it could have been 4-1. and one, And then, yeah, we're just really super close to beating the... Uh, deep deck also it's a good deck i know we played it on just two days ago on meme tier monday because we were just playing shen on meme tier but no we're we're upgrading this like this is not a meme tier deck anymore this is um you know regular regular rank um those y'all watch on youtube hit that like button over there if you got any other shen decks that you like feel free to put them in the comments or if you or if you've been playing this yourself let me know how it goes um yeah, but, but that's it here for Shen Barrier. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.